Alright, bud. What day is it? Today is day 169. Today we took a coolant reservoir or whatever you call that from a Prius mm -hmm. thing. And I uh, had some existing tubes on it and we ran tubes to the top of the inverter and the bottom of the motor down here uh, comes out and we installed this little guy which is a pump to get the coolant running and we made this little tube to go from the pump to the reservoir. So we got our coolant flowing through and we also filled our transmission full of transmission fluid with two, uh, there's two little plugs, plugs, I guess you call it. So fill that up, fill the coolant up and started to spin it a little higher speeds. Yeah, they said that whenever we bought it, that this was all drained. They had tags that were saying it was like if it's a regular motor, it is a motor oil is all drained. But of course, it was still full. But we went ahead and just changed all the ATF anyway. And the little plug, the magnets on both the plugs look pretty clean. There's very few metal filings on them, so I think the the fluid was in pretty good shape. Uh, and you can hear our pump running. It's pretty quiet. Mm. Hear that? Um, Hopefully it's moving enough fluid. But anyway, the whole reason we were avoiding giving it a lot of gas before is we didn't know if it had any fluid and we did uh, any transmission fluid, and we didn't know how it would work without coolant. So now that we have those boats hooked up, we've sort of been driving it for the first time, uh, and you can already see our battery voltage starting to go down because um, we're just running again off of the off of 240-ish volts, and. Uh, and we're draining them pretty good right now, so you want to go ahead and put it in gear and go, and we can watch the, uh, the RPMs over here. Um, go ahead. So we got it to around maybe seven, 8,000 RPM. Keep going. You can start to see the voltage dropping. about 8,000 RPM. I think, I think this motor tops out at about 10,500. So we've still got a little bit more room. Plus we're running it again off of a lower voltage. So. And we also have that rattling. Did noise. you push it all the way down to the ground that time? I don't think so. No. Okay. We don't necessarily have to, but yeah. um, there is that rattling noise. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's normal. Maybe if anyone else knows can comment. There is sort of a rattling noise in the motor that I, I don't know what that's coming from or if it's I don't think it's our mount because I tried moving the the whole motor assembly around and it never like changed noise. So it seems to be like internal, internal to the motor and the gearbox somehow. If anybody has any ideas on what that is, we appreciate it. So, anything else? I don't think so. I think. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we got coolant. We got transmission fluid. And high RPMs. Yeah, we can turn it at the high RPM for the first time. All right. Good job, buddy.